All right, so I'm at my last drop. This uh, guy right here has the only dock. He's done, loaded, got his paperwork. I'm waiting on him to pull out so I can get in there and he's gonna punch everything onto his computer. Punch everything in. Been here for a couple of minutes. Just decided to get the camera here and yeah, wait on him. He can't pull up. He can't pull up and uh you know the big old area right over there, punch everything in, shut your doors and all that. But no, he's got I pull I even pulled up just kind of push the issue a little bit. Doesn't register. Does not register. You guys are at US Express. Do you all do this? Or is it just this one fella? I don't know. I don't have anything against US Express. But what I do have an issue with is freaking boneheads that won't get out of the way. Uncourteousness, whatever that means. Uncur uh, lack of courtesy. There you go. So, US Express, why? Just pull up. Just pull up. Get out of the way. Why do you gotta waste someone else's clock? All you gotta do is just pull up and take you 10 seconds, pull up and around. So you're burning up my clock. You know. I guess people don't realize that we have a clock and every minute counts. And so Home Depot's waiting on me and I'm waiting on me and I'm waiting on this guy. Let's get out of the way, guy. Alright, we're just gonna watch him. Watch how this bonehead gonna sit there and I do his paperwork. You gotta write stuff down. This is a serious business, let me tell you. I gotta get this done before I pull out of the dock. Is there some kind of like policy? Hey, US Express, is there some kind of policy that you guys got that you can't pull out of the dock unless everything's punching the computer and you got everything written down on your paper? Is that what it is? Is that what's going on? Come on, guy. Oh, jeez, man. How long are we going to sit here and wait? Oh, there's two guys in there. Is there two guys in there? Is that a trainee? There's two guys up in there. There is two people in that truck. I don't know if the trainees are teaming or whatever. So a trainer is letting this guy just hog the freaking space here yeah he's in training that guy in the pe in the driver's seat is in training I don't even want to say it's his fault there's a trainer over there in the passenger seat I don't know if you can see him bearded guy and you know so that's what that's how we're training drivers is not be respectful to not be respectful to other trucks. Come on, man. U.S. Express. This is how we do it. Screw all the other drivers. We're just all about ourselves. Come on, guys. I mean, you can't pull up. You can't pull up and around. Now here comes the Home Depot guy. He's fixing to tell him to move. Oh, 
Oh, tell me to wait. I've been waiting. Come on. The the Home Depot guy directed them to to, to pull out. And then he told us to wait. I said, I was waving my hand. I said, hey, move. That's the trainer right there. You would think by looking at him, he's old school, right? You would think that he, the trainer right there is old school. What kind of old school crap is that? Teaching the newbie how to be disrespectful. No courtesy. There's no courtesy whatsoever in that truck. Sad thing is, that trainer is teaching the rookie how to be a bonehead. This is how to be a bonehead, rookie. Just screw everyone else. We're all about ourselves out here. There's an Arnold truck right behind me there, pulled in. So here we go. Finally going. Finally going to go. Finally gonna get this stuff unloaded so I could go. So Home Depot can work. There we go. The US Express made bonehead truckers. Yes. The trainer. I ain't putting that on the rookie. At first I was like, hey, and then I saw the guy there in the passenger seat. I guess he was there about I had the video going for about five, six, seven minutes, maybe, I don't know. Last time I looked down, it was like five and a half minutes. But he was there doing his computer stuff for five minutes before that. So he was there for 10, 15 minutes. Sitting there in the dock doing the paperwork he could have pulled out. Oh, geez. It's not that hard to be a truck driver. And it's not that hard. Now, I say a truck driver, not a bonehead trucker. Not a steering wheel holder. A truck driver. A truck driver someone who has class you may well call me a super trucker all you want because I do this bonehead truckers here but uh, you know what at least I have some courtesy get the heck out of people's way you know me I'm driving a slow truck I, I try to stay out of people's way as much as I can all right bonehead truckers y'all take care out there 73